Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use the Olama Semantic Kernel Connector. This connector is recently released by Microsoft. You can check out this blog post uh, here, uh, introducing new connector for local models. They are relying on top of Olama Sharp. I have made a video about this recently, so if you go back to my blog, and find this here getting started with Olama and Somatic Kernel. I have used uh, Olama Sharp here. Um, if you come back to the um, blog, you will be creating your own client with Olama Sharp. Now it's a um, bit more streamlined. So this Olama Chat Completion Service you manually created, I think you don't need that anymore if you are actually using official connector. So let's see how that works. Um, if you want to know more information about the connector, just go and check out the blog post. Uh, it's still in alpha stage. Uh, you can come here and then see the NuGet package. Uh, they have this uh, alpha prefix, and this is the latest version, which was released like two days ago. So I'm going to use it and see how it works out um, to chat with the simple uh, Olama instance. Yeah, so in this example, I'm going to create a um, console app and also an API. It's going to be a minimal API. Uh, let's get started. So before we getting started, I think um, I have to mention this again. I said now the connector is at alpha stage, so it is not recommended to use it in production, but it's up to you. As always, you need the Olama installed. I'll go to olama.com, download it. They're available for all three distributions, like uh, all three operating systems, uh, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. And if you don't know Olama, um, it's basically an easy way to run larger language models uh, in your local machine. You can also customize it, create your own models, and package it and push it. It works similar to how Docker containers work. They containerize the language model, and you can run it locally in your machine. And um, semantic kernel is basically a bridge between how you interact with your application uh, from your application to these models. Um, it has almost all the connectors inbuilt, including OpenAI, Azure, Hugging Face, and a few other uh, possible LLMs. Um, in this, we are just going to only focus on Olama connector because Olama is uh, going to run locally. We don't need any API keys. Uh, everything can be self-hosted. I'm more interested in that than uh, paying uh, and getting an API key and running it uh, externally. So let's start with a uh, new simple console application. So I will have a, um, I have a simple um, folder here. I will go and create uh, this console app, Llama Connector, and then I will say um, navigate to that. Uh, and uh, we will open that uh, in VS Code. We'll make it bigger, that big. Okay, we have a simple uh, command line app here and the CS project. It's pretty empty application, um, as you can see, but uh, let's go and add the NuGet packages uh, we need. Uh, we need the thematic kernel. I will add that package. And then uh, we also need the uh, Olama connector, which is in alpha. So while I make this video, this is the latest version of Olama and this is the latest version of the Olama connector. So if you're seeing it in the future, make sure to find um, what is the latest version and see if it works. Or if you want to just follow along, just uh, pin the version as well so that it works exactly like how it is in the video. At the time of this video, uh, since it's an alpha tag, there is an exception, uh, sorry, there is a warning um, so we just go and disable the warning. Um, they put it uh, to make sure that nobody's using it in production. Um, so I will just go and uh, disable this warning. You go to the CS project and then add this no one. This is the warning we are going to disable. Uh, this is semantic uh, warning. And then update the update the program.cs. So uh, I'll just copy this code and then go and update the program.cs. So first, let's go and see what we have in the program gets CS. Uh, so we have the builder, which is coming from the kernel. And then this is the only method we need right now. So builder.add Olama chat completion. And then you have to provide the model. 
and then the URI. So my Olama is running in this in this URL. So if I go to uh, the URL, I will see the um, message Olama is running, and if I go and then do Olama list, I you can see that I have all these models running. So I have 3.1, let me typically 3.1 latest and 3.2 latest maybe i will change the 3.2 latest and see if that 3.2 latest as well uh yeah so just go and check what model you have running and then you can change it accordingly here and then we have a uh, i chat completion I, I chat completion service we have not added this manually in the last video we did create this manually but right now it will be automatically assigned for you so just get the chat completion service Get the chat history and then you can just uh, run this app. Um, you can just see how to run it now. So clear and then say .NET build. Make sure the project builds and then the .NET run. And then ask the question, why is the sky blue? Okay, it gave the answer. Tap is blue because the phenomenon cause scattering. Yeah, it just gives you answer from the model. Um, and that's okay here we didn't mention any sky yeah so now it says at night uh so the chat history is working it understood the context so i think this is a simple um example um where we have a uh, chat completion um added from, by olama and then you mentioned uh the url and then you mentioned the model and uh you ask uh you add the message and you ask the chat service hey give me a response back and then it gives you a response back and you add the message to the history so that it understands the context from the previous answer and the previous question okay so i think uh it's quite straightforward um let's move on to the second uh part of this uh video where we are going to create um minimal api so it's going to be similar to what we did here uh, maybe simpler than um, this in some ways uh, let's um, go to the cd and then um, clear so we are going to do the same but this time we are going to create a web api project instead of uh, console applications uh, console applications are great but I, I usually build apis so um let's see how we do that with api let's go and create the new api and then cd into it and then open that in VS Code. Uh, if you open that in VS Code, you will see that you have a program file, uh, which is a very simple minimal API application and a CS approach. Nothing else is here, a bit as basic app. Next is uh, we have to install the semantic kernel again. Let's go and install. Go and install semantic kernel. And the next again is the same uh, Olama connector. Okay, we have installed both of them. Again, we have to remove the warnings. Uh, let's go to the um, um, CS proj, add the warning uh, exception, and then we will uh, create our program. Dot, uh, we will update our program. CS. Let's update our program. Okay. Now, what's happening here is similar to what happened in our console app. Instead of having a uh, kernel builder we are having a web application builder instead of directly adding it to the builder we are adding it to the service collection here and then we are using the same extension method add olama uh, chat completion um i will use 3.2 because that's what we used um in the last video because uh, olama always loads these in the memory and keep it there in the memory for five minutes hopefully it's there and then it's the same uri uh where my local uh olama instance is running now we are going to use the same trick we did there we have a chat uh, chat history uh in the global scope so it's going to live and then it's going to understand uh the chat um history and every time you ask a message we are going to add a user message and then uh, keep it uh in the history when you are actually building it, you probably have want to save these messages in the database and then retrieve it for each and every request. But uh, just for the demonstration purposes, I'm just putting it globally here. Um, and then we have a chat request, which is basically a simple uh, data transfer object. 
which uh, contains the message and then uh, in the api we are getting the chat request and then we are injecting the iChat completion service and uh, performing the same operation we did in the console app. Okay, let's see how that works. Um, I would say just build the application to make sure uh, everything works. Yes. And now let's run the application and we have our app running here. So the hello world is here. That means our application is running. Now go back and then let's create um, API uh request so this is the api request um so this is a simple um API request we are creating just copy and then paste it here uh this is the example port but now my application is not running in that example port instead it's running in 5013 uh yeah so update that and then send the request and we got the response back see Oh, why did the chicken cross the road? And you get a response. There are many theories about why the chicken might cross the road, but the most well known are blah, blah, blah. So you get a simple explanation from your model. Um, yeah, so we have similar kind of um, scenarios. In both, we have a request to the Olama instance and then a response back. There are a few other operations you can achieve if you go and look at the um, semantic kernel repo you can see that uh, olama connector is uh, relying on help of olama sharp um, and then there is a bunch of extensions so these are extensions for uh, kernel builder and extensions for service collection we used both of them along with that we used uh, the chat completion service so there is and two other services like text embedding generation and text generation service you can um, easily add those uh, to your um, application as well and then play around and this connector is not so complex there is only like a few files uh, which matters basically the builders are very simple to understand you can come and check like this is the builder which adds the text generation and then this is the chat completion builder which we used um and then it's the same with the chat completion uh, uh, basically just takes the input and then uh, executes uh, using the olama sharp uh, with a bunch of settings these are the prompt settings um yeah go and check out the repo and then uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment on this uh, video uh, if i know the answer i will probably reply otherwise um yeah good luck uh i hope this helped you a little bit um i'm slowly exploring how to use thematic kernel into my web application and then as of now almost all the integrations are based on olama sharp and i built everything custom i think this um, connector is a really cool way to integrate olama because as you can see we have a olama integration and it's only a few lines of code and we have a proper uh, chat endpoint working the next um, gradual step would be to create embeddings uh, if you have any specific requests feel free to uh, comment on this video um, and um, if it is possible i will try to uh, make it that's pretty much it for this video i will find you soon in another video hope you have a nice day Bye bye